Back with another video for you today, and today's review is for Fortin Manley's Impressions de Giverny. This is the latest release from Fortin Manley, a fragrance that was inspired by Claude Monet's Impressionist Gardens in Giverny. You're also going to have a chance at winning one of 10 samples of Impressions de Giverny if you are in the USA, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here for a while and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, today we're reviewing the latest release from Fort Manley called Impressions de Giverny. This is a 2018 launch. A 50 ml bottle like this retails for $200. It comes in Eau de Parfum concentration, and of course the perfumer is Razi Fort. If you're curious to find out more information about this fragrance, I have a link to Lucky Scent in the info box below. Go there, check it out. Impressions de Giverny features the notes of yuzu, bergamot, apple at the top, magnolia, rose, tuberose, osmanthus, orange blossom, fig leaf, coriander, tulip, neroli, mango, and ylang ylang in the heart. And then in the base notes you have ambergris, benzoin and musk. So a little backstory about Impressions de Giverny. Razi Fort, the perfumer and owner of Fort Manley, was taking a trip to Paris and, or France and they ended up going to Giverny and he explored the gardens of Claude Monet who is the very well known famous Impressionist painter. He actually wanted to create a fragrance and wanted to capture the mood and the feel of being in the gardens. And he also wanted to create the fragrance to be like the air of the gardens, whatever air is in the gardens, and the uh, pond area. So it's got a very watery effect. So it basically created a translucency and added subtle hints of the combination of the flora and the fruits that were present in the garden. So I'm a big fan of Impressionist paintings. Of course, I'm also a big fan of Impressionist music from the Impressionist era of France. So I was very, very curious to try Impressions de Giverny. So when you first spray Impressions de Giverny, it starts off with a big blast of juicy citrus from the yuzu and bergamot, and you got this also crispness from this red apple note. But immediately you start picking up these green, uh, green floral notes, white floral notes. So what happens during the heart of this fragrance is where the actual painting comes alive, because basically the fragrance is an Impressionist painting come to life from Claude Monet. So you've got beautiful white floral notes here and of course other types of floral notes. One big note here that I really really love is the magnolia note and I think this magnolia note is, is giving this translucency in the fragrance and that's what I love about it. But then the dominant note pretty much here is tuberose so this is mostly about tuberose and musk. But then you also pick up notes of osmanthus, and the fig leaf in here is giving off this big green vibe, which I really, really like. So if you like your white flower fragrances with a uh, tinge of uh, greenness, this is, this is definitely one uh, to try. Of course, you've got the tulip that comes through, the ylang ylang, and then also the, the, the orange blossom and the neroli pop through as well. It's just a big, beautiful, like an arrangement of flowers just come to life. Then we also have a little spiciness from the coriander. Uh, the coriander adds this unique touch to it because if you just kind of get overwhelmed with too much white flowers, we have the coriander to add this unique spiciness to the fragrance. And then of course the mango pops through and gives it a bit of a fruity vibe all along with the greenness of the fig leaf. And as the fragrance is drying, it becomes resinous and musky, and of course with the ambergris a little bit salty. Now sometimes white floral fragrances can be heavy, but this one, as uh, it was quoted by Rossi Fort, it definitely has this light and airiness to it, and it's because he wanted to capture the air of the garden. It's, it's totally present here in this fragrance, and you can feel it. It doesn't weigh down, it doesn't become heavy, it's pretty light and airy and the translucency is definitely present, but you're definitely smelling the beautiful white flowers of the gardens of uh, Giverny. Now I'm a person where white floral fragrances were a little complicated to wear, but within the last year or two I've been opening up to the white floral fragrances and I've been really enjoying them and loving them, especially since yesterday I just launched top 20 floral fragrances for spring video. And this would have actually ended up on the video, but unfortunately uh, it wasn't available at the time of the shoot. But 
This is a gorgeous scent. It's really beautiful. It's definitely tuberose, it's definitely magnolia, and it's definitely a big osmanthus note is in here, which uh, gives off the fruity vibe along with the mango. Now, if you like a fruity white floral fragrance, this one's definitely one to try. Also, if you like them to be not so weighty, not so heavy, definitely Impressions de Giverny is one to try. But in the meantime, if you're curious to try to win a sample, we have two opportunities for you to win a total of 10 samples. Five samples will be given away from this YouTube channel. And also, we're running the giveaway for an additional five samples off of Instagram. And in Instagram, you can participate as well. Both of the giveaways are open to USA residents only. Now, if you want to participate in the giveaway for a sample of Impressions de Giverny here on YouTube, please put a comment down and let me know what your favorite white floral fragrance is. And also let me know what you like about the idea of this fragrance, Impressions de Giverny. Also, please put your state to qualify for the giveaway. Good luck with that. And on Instagram, I'll have a link in the info box to the Instagram giveaway as well. Head over there. If you already follow me, you'll probably see the photo but participate in the giveaway there as well. And also, if you feel like, follow Lucky Scent uh, there as I'll tag them in the giveaway. All right, guys, what are your thoughts about Fortin Manley fragrances and, of course, Impressions de Giverny? Have you tried it? Are you curious to try it? Do you like any of their fragrances? Let me know. Let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one.